good morning everyone welcome to another vlog today is 6 25 a.m and we are heading to the airport yes we have three long flights today we have a denver san diego turn and then when we get back to denver we head on a long flight to miami i'm so excited to bring you guys along on the trip for my first ever time going to miami hope you enjoy the vlog Hi guys, after three long flights today, I finally made it to my hotel in a place I have never been before, which is Miami. I'm so excited to be here. Just got to my hotel room and I wanted to show you how cute it is. This is the front door area. Right away here is the bathroom. It's got this cool wallpaper that's like kind of textured. Um, but how cute is this little stand? I'm like, I kind of want that for my house. Um, you've got the toilet, the sink, of course, and look at this shower. It's like a standing shower. I'm pretty sure this is the accessible room since there is the like bench right here. And this is extra wide for a bathroom, um, but there's tons of room. So at least I have that perk for the day. A little bench to put my roller board on, which is always convenient. A super long table. Cool little lamp in the corner. I've got two beds. And I love this like backboard wall installation. It's huge. And then there's a little closet here. And that is the room. But let me show you this. Something really cool that I just noticed. This is not an es Nespresso machine. This is a Lavazza Espresso machine, which I have never seen this model before. I'm actually very excited. It's an Italian brand. And here are the selections. Um, this one must be decaf, I'm guessing, if I had to guess. <laughs> but I'm so excited to try these. I'm definitely going to drink these tomorrow. And the plan is also to go to a coffee shop. So I want to be extra caffeinated. <laughs> Some teas, chamomile, black tea, and green tea, it looks like. Very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and unpack my stuff. I had three flights, like I said earlier. I am really tired and I will tell you a little bit about how the day went and what I've been up to uh, once I unpack and I'm probably going to shower, take this makeup off because it is humid here and I knew that that was going to be the case, but uh, I need to wash this off. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys in just a bit. And surprise, surprise, it's morning already. <laughs> I was so tired, I did not record last night. But anyways, here's the view from my room in the morning. Um, there's a little construction, but all of the green and trees is so pretty, so I didn't even mind. But anyways, I got up and did some stretching. My back was a little sore. I'm thinking it's from my workout a few days ago, um, but it felt good to get up and stretch. I woke up kind of late and slept in around noon, and so I was taking my time getting ready. But I headed to the bathroom eventually to wash my face, put on my moisturizer. This is a new sunscreen I'm trying from Innisfree. You can get it at Sephora, and so far I'm really liking it. It's supposed to leave your skin like a little glowy, which it does without feeling greasy. It's actually pretty lightweight, so, so far I like it. I'll keep you updated if I continue to love it. It is a little humid here, of course, being Florida, and so my hair was super frizzy since I did a deep clean last night, so I threw some curls to give it some shape. I also made some vitamin water with these tabs that I bring. I get them in Germany just to keep me healthy while I'm traveling. Hi guys, I was so tired last night. I passed out and did not film at all. I was seriously ready to just fall asleep, so I thought I'd catch up with you today. I'm just sitting at my little desk here and share about what flying was like yesterday. So yesterday I had three flights. Of course, we started in Denver and our check-in time was around 9.20 in the morning. So I headed over there and I accidentally got to the airport two hours early. Yes, I got to the airport at seven. That was no fun, but I've been having issues with the trains in Denver, the city train and I left extra early to make sure that the sh train wasn't shut down basically. 
And when I got there, it was running perfectly fine. So I ended up being two hours early to the airport like a crazy person. It's not like normal passengers where you get there early and you need to be three hours, two hours early to make it. We kind of zoom through security a lot faster than a normal passenger since we have special crew security. Crew security. So um, yeah, so I got there really early. And since I had all this time on my hands, I decided to get breakfast. I took it to the crew room and ate a little breakfast and had some coffee and just kind of chilled until it was finally time to check in. So when it was time to check in, our first flight was Denver to San Diego. We stayed on the same plane and then flew San Diego back to Denver. Each of those flights were about two hours long. They were really chill, uneventful, which is how we like it. <laughs> and then we had our third flight, which we switched planes for, and that was Denver to Miami. So it... It wasn't as easy as San Diego, let's just say that. If you fly to Florida, in and out of Florida, you know that the crowds are a little bit more challenging. So this fight was not without its little quirks, but everything was pretty tame as far as what kind of action you could expect on a plane. <laughs> we had one lady that didn't want to sit down. We had someone that was complaining, like just about the most random stuff. During boarding, we had people trying to sneak into the exit row since there was a row open without paying for it, and that's a big no-no. So after all that was said and done, the flight was relatively easy. Um, so we got here. It took us about three hours and 20 minutes, and we landed around. We got to our hotel afterwards about midnight. So that's probably why I was so tired. All in all, it was a good day. I'm not gonna bore you with any like little tiny details, but my crew has been super awesome. I am working with three other people and I have flown with one of them before and that crew member is so, so sweet. So we are working up together in the front. Um, they're purser and I am forward galley, which is one of my favorite positions. A lot of people love forward galley because you get to cook in the ovens, you gotta make prepared drinks and stuff. It's for a smaller group of people in first class, then you have to serve an economy. And it's a little less walking up and down the plane. It's a little less tiring in my opinion. And I like to cook and stuff, so it's fun for me. So I was really happy that I had that position. So today, man, I slept in really late, probably around noon. And my crew was already up tanning at the pool. There's a little pool here at the hotel. I didn't bring my swimsuit, so I didn't really want to tan. But I do want to get outside. It's a little later than that now. And there is a grocery store nearby, so I'm going to probably get some groceries or a sandwich. It's a Publix grocery store, if you've ever been to a Publix. And I heard they have really good sandwiches. So I might do that for lunch and grab something for dinner probably too. Um, we'll see what the crew wants to do. I'm actually going to go say hi to them since they're still up at the pool and kind of see what the vibe is. So I'm having a good layover. It is nice and sunny outside. So I'm excited to get outside finally <laughs> and start my late afternoon and kind of see what Miami's about. All right, guys, I'm going to get out and finally do stuff and not be inside all day. So I will check with you guys later about what I end up doing and what we end up seeing. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. guys I just got back from walking around town I wasn't out too late but I did end up going to a coffee shop I wanted to see as well as the Publix grocery market so I will show you what I got from this store so first I went to the coolest coffee shop I think that ever exists <laughs> I had seen it before in other vlogs other people's things but I didn't really remember that it was here or know it was close to where I am but um, there's this coffee shop called Sky Coffee, Sky Coffee. 
um, that's built inside of an old airplane. It was so cool. I'll show you a little bit of footage from that. But basically you walk up the jet stair, like the little stairs, and you order inside at the counter, but the inside fully looks still like an operating plane. There's like a tiny galley, there's airplane seats, like leather seats you can sit at, and then there's a ton of garden uh, chairs and stuff you can eat right outside as well. But I ordered a matcha. The matcha was decent, but I really do think that they specialize more so in coffee. So next time I definitely will try coffee. I just wasn't feeling like super like caffeine-ish. I know matcha has caffeine, but you know what I mean. It's such a cool experience to see, and I showed pictures to everyone already. They thought it was so cool. Um, the recommendation came from my friend Ryan, so thank you, Ryan, for the recommendation. I loved seeing it. So afterwards, I decided to take a walk around the downtownish area since I have never seen anything, so I went by myself. Um, I walked up, I think it's Miami Street, or Miami Avenue, I don't know what it's called, but I walked up the main strip there and there's some fancy shops, tons of restaurants. There were so many places that just smelled so good as I was walking past, um, but mostly it's South American cuisine, it's tacos, it's empanadas, it's all sorts of delicious stuff, which I love. And I'm a little sad that I didn't stop and eat somewhere, but my heart was on getting a little deli sandwich today. So that's what I did. <laughs> After I walked around, I went to the closest public grocery store near the hotel and ordered a sandwich since everybody was hyping them up so much. So I did get that. And right before I left, I actually saw two of my crew members. So they were also getting sandwiches. <laughs> so funny, like that's what we all did. So we all walked back together and now I'm back in my room. Okay, so this is the haul. Here's my public sandwich. It was 11.09. I got turkey with chipotle mayo, which is so good. And then this huge thing of cheddar gouda mac and cheese. It is super heavy. This was like maybe 4.59, which it's a good size. So that is in case I get hungry later. And then I got this Greenwise Peach Kombucha. They had a lot of cool flavors. It's in a glass bottle, um, but it, I love peach. So I'm gonna have that to drink now and then put the mac and cheese in the fridge for later. Okay, so my total for all those things was 19.86. I felt like everything was pretty decently priced. I did think the sub sandwich was gonna be like $7.99 or something, um, but it was a little more expensive, but still it's $11 for a meal. And it's pretty big, so I thought, hey, that's not terrible. They had so many cool things. They had like huge, like beautiful fruits. I was a little jealous that we didn't have all the cool stuff like the guavas and stuff like that in Colorado. But yeah, I'm gonna crack this open and start eating. I haven't ate all day. Just had the matcha from the coffee shop earlier, so I am a little hungry for sure. Oh, and I didn't realize this, but when I came back into my room, the bathroom door was all the way shut. And I'm like, I did not shut the door to the bathroom this whole time I've been here. And housekeeping came, which that never happens when I'm in my hotel rooms, even for two nights like this trip. So thank you, housekeeping. <laughs> I appreciate it. And I forgot, I'm like, I'm kind of glad that I was thinking maybe I was gonna need some coffee tomorrow before our pickup, since we're getting picked up, I think at 6.45 in the morning, but I have this whole espresso machine. So I, that's perfect for me. I'm excited to try it tomorrow. I will definitely be using it. Hmm, let's see how this is. Pretty good kombucha. The peach is like kind of light flavor. It almost tastes kind of like apple, um, but not bad overall. I'll definitely drink it. <laughs> I'm gonna bust into this sandwich though. So hungry. So it's been a hot minute since I actually like filmed myself, I feel. Even though I just uploaded um, this past week, stuff that I filmed a little bit in advance and just had to find time to edit it. So what's up guys? <laughs> What have you been up to? How's life going? I wanna know, leave a comment if you're gonna be traveling for Thanksgiving coming up. Uh, my plan is just to stay home since like my work schedule, my boyfriend's work schedule doesn't really line up with, like give us a good chunk of time to go. 
and we'll probably be out of town for Christmas or around Christmas time to visit our families. So yeah, let me know what you guys are gonna be doing. I'm curious to see what where everyone's going and stuff. Um, so far for this month, I only have one more trip on the schedule. And today is November 15th. Is a long way over in Madison, Wisconsin again. It just happened to be on my schedule, I told very randomly. And it's about 30 hour layover. So I'm always excited to go there. You know that if you saw my Madison vlog, it's one of the best domestic layovers. So I'm definitely keeping that flight, that trip. Tuesday, I'm getting my hair done. I am so excited, I've been looking forward to this. I haven't cut my hair in many, many months, but it needs to be cut and shaped. And I'm also coloring my hair, a color I have not done in a while. So stay tuned for that. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog it, but I'm definitely gonna surprise you guys and show you what color I'm going. Cause right now, like this is my natural color up top. It's like a dirty brown kind of color and then some just residual coloring highlights or whatever. But I'm so excited. So if you want to guess what color I'm doing, go ahead and guess. Um, so I'm going to finish my sandwich. I have been watching on my, I brought my iPad to watch some shows. And what I've been watching lately is the Discovery Channel. They have, I think it's called, I don't know if it's called Customs or um, To Catch a Smuggler. That's what it is. I'm obsessed with like shows where they um, like catch people at the airport <laughs> and see what they do and how they catch like people like doing shady stuff. And I think it's so fascinating and interesting to see that side of travel that I don't see in my day-to-day -day life. So I'm probably gonna watch some more of that, finish my sandwich and just kick back and relax. Look how pretty the sunset is, oh my gosh. Disregard the construction, but it is really pretty out there. Hi guys, I am back from my trip. I didn't really film any today since I just had one flight and everything was really quick. Um, but I already took my makeup off, showered, and I'm in my natural <laughs> look. So just wanted to relax and do that. So I just wanna talk about how the day went with you guys. I left Miami and was a little sad to go. I really enjoyed the really short amount of time I had there and everything was so lovely. My crew is just so lovely. I had a great time with them. If you hear something, it's just my dishwasher in the back. Um, but so we had our one flight. It was about four hours, which is the longest domestic flight I've had in a while. And everybody, as far as passenger goes, were really nice. We even had two customers that were in my first class section that were on my flight into Miami and they recognized us. <laughs> and that happens every once in a while. Usually it's because the passengers are going for a one day trip, similar to us, for like a business meeting and then coming right back. So yeah, it was really funny to hear that. <laughs> but on the way back, um, we landed in Denver, everything was really cool, chill, good. And something special was happening up in our crew room. So in our crew room inside the airport, we had a Christmas little marketplace that flight attendants who are crafters or you know make handmade items had tables out and they were selling them and it was all holiday themed. It was so cute to see. Um, in some of the portions of the proceeds go to our foundation, which helps um, basically, it's a, a flight attendant run foundation that any flight attendant at our company can reach out to if they're ever in financial like need for medical reasons and certain other kind of reasons as well. So it's a really cool thing to do. So I already wanted to buy stuff from flight attendant vendors and there they were. But as far as the rest of the day goes, I'm not really sure what I'm feeling like doing. Um, I cleaned up the house a little bit, did some dishes. Might work out a little if I'm feeling up to it, but honestly, I'm feeling kind of tired and just kind of want to relax. I don't want to fall asleep or take a nap and get that tired since I it's going to mess up my sleep schedule if I do that. Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel. I'll at least hit a thousand subscribers. 
hopefully by the end of the year if possible. So anything, likes, shares, comments help as well. But thanks once again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.